Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing this look right here which I thought would be fun for Valentine's Day. I had a few products that I wanted to test out for you guys. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of get ready with me trying new product videos this month because this is already the second one and I have another one that I need to do as well because I just have so many products. But with this particular video, I wanted to use specific things so I could create a look for Valentine's Day for you guys that wasn't, you know, a theme or something that would be too hard to create. I wanted to do a smoky eye with color. So I definitely have a little bit of pink and purple in the eye, but I feel like it's not too much. It's like that sultry, but soft, still kind of glam. I'm feeling it. I love this type of look for Valentine's Day. Again, I am using new products to create this look. So first thing I have here is the Viseart Paris Edit Palette. So this is what I use to create my eye look. And then I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. I already had my foundation done because I had already used this foundation, but I have here the Too Faced Turn Up The Light Palette right here, as well as some new BK Beauty brushes. I have Max new blushes. I have quite a few of those. And then I have some really exciting news for you guys. In celebration for Valentine's Day, I thought it would be fun to print off as many of these stickers as I possibly could. You guys recognize this little red panda from my collection with Christian Audette. Also um, on my forearm, that is my red panda tattoo. That is where the inspiration for this came from. I thought it would be nice to print these off, sign them. I signed every single one of these individually and I sent them over to Christian Audette. So anyone who purchases anything from my collection, whether you need to just get some backups of your favorite liners, like I need to do, <laughs> or you wanna try out the lipsticks or liners for the first time, whatever it is, any purchase you make from my collaboration with Christian Audette, you are going to get a sticker while supplies last in celebration for Valentine's Day. It's my little Valentine to you guys. I thought it was a cute idea. I signed them all, like I said, and it's just while supplies last. So if you're interested in getting the sticker, just remember my collection, any piece with Christian Audette, that information will be listed down below. All right, let's go ahead and get into this look. Refer number 15, I'm gonna start off with a pink coral matte. Starting on the very outer corner, tapping it into place and bringing it up into the crease and transition area. It's definitely more coral on the eyes. It's a really pretty color. I'm just going to buff this out. BK Beauty 206 in this shade right here. I am going to take this into the crease. This is one of the new brushes from BK Beauty. It fits right into my crease really well. It's letting me blend it upwards as well. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the last shade in the top row. Starting off on the outer corner, right over the lid, and again, deepening up the crease just a little bit more. Smoking out this outer corner. Refer number 13, I'm gonna go one step down to this shade right here. Tapping this on the very outer corner. Makeup. <laughs> Always doing makeup. All right, smooches. Smooches, bye beauty. Bye beauty. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I answered the phone because it was Kelsey Brianna Bay, and I haven't talked to her in like two days. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and talk to her while she had a chance. But all I have done is take that last shade and basically have smoked this eye out. I had it on the outer corner, got it in the crease, and I'm just buffing upward. 
slowly. Refer number two, first shade, last row. Starting off again, packing on the outer corner. Pressing motions first and then buffing it out. Same color on a refer number 14. I'm just gonna pop this into the crease and further add just a little bit more dimension before I add the color to the front of the lid. MAC 242 in the purple metallic. It's more like a light pinky purple metallic. I'm gonna place this on the front portion of the lid and I am going to start tapping over the last shade we laid down. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. I'm just going to line the top. I'm not taking this all the way in, just on the outer three quarters. BK Beauty 207, back in with the original shade we used. Buffing this all along my lower lash line. Going back in with Pillow Talk, I'm gonna put this on my inner rim on the lower part. As well as right up against my lashes. And then going in with the BK Beauty 208, which is a really tiny like, winged liner brush, or you could use it for this type of thing, <laughs> or even taking a shadow and really getting it really close to the lash line. But I am taking this and I am using it just to buff out the edge of the liner before it fully dries. To finish off the eyes, all I did was do my top inner rim with the Fenty Fly Pencil in Cause I'm Black, and then the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara, and that is it. Now I'm gonna finish off the cheeks. I have already done my bronzer, nothing new there, and I'm gonna go in with a new product from MAC. Their new blushes. <laughs> I have one more on the way. I have used one. This is the shade So Natural, and then I got Cheer Up, Cheeky Devil, and then Blush Please, and there's one more that I had to get off the MAC Cosmetics website. I don't remember what shade that is, but I'm gonna go in with this one. I already know how I feel about the blush just because I've used the other shade a couple times, but I haven't used this one, so let me open this up. I don't like the packaging I cut myself. It's the plastic packaging. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this with that type of packaging, but I always end up getting some type of cut, and it's really annoying. Anywho, this is the shade Cheer Up. Peachy pink, perfect for Valentine's Day. You can go in with your fingers if you want to. Like, it's kind of, it's squishy and it kind of feels creamy. I don't know, I'm not using my fingers. I'm definitely gonna go in with this brush. Again, this is the new one from BK Beauty. It is the 107, and I'm just gonna press this into my skin. My earrings are kind of loud. <laughs> I love the look that this blush gives. The formula is, it's creamy, but not, it's not intimidating like some cream products are or even liquid products. It works just like a powder does. You just press it in and I just think that they're beautiful. I love the skin-like finish and it's not a glittery finish or anything like that. It's literally just skin-like and I just think they're so beautiful. 
I'm glad I got as many shades as I did. And this brush is working very nicely with it. I just realized that I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna go in with Bali Sands from Becca Cosmetics and just do this really quickly. I thought something on my face looked off, and it's this. Technically speaking, I have two different highlighters that I could choose from, but I want to go in with this one. It's from Lara Mercier. I talked about this in my purchase or pass, and I haven't even opened this up to see what it looks like yet. Okay, this is called the Face Illuminator. The shade is Affection, and it has, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You see the floral design on it? Oh, it is so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, let me swatch it. This is what the color looks like. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let me put this on. I'm gonna go in with the new BK Beauty 108. It's like I don't wanna mess up the design, but you know. Oh yes. There's two different colors of this highlight. Oh, that's really pretty. It kinda reminds me of that Chanel one that was limited edition. To buff, I'm kind of going to tease you guys just a little bit, so I apologize because I'm going to go over this later, but it's the Too Faced Born This Way Turn Up The Light Palette. I purchased two different ones, the light version and the medium version. I don't have the medium one yet, but I also purchased the eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I've got stacks of stuff hanging up here. I will go more into depth into this palette once I do that review because I'm just going to do it all at one, but I want to use it today. Look at this. For some reason, I thought this was going to be so much smaller because uh, I think this is really a play on what uh, Hourglass does. So I wasn't expecting it to be this large, but it is pretty large. I am going to take my refer number 22. This is the bronzer brush, and I'm going to go in with this center shade. The other two are, this one has a little bit of an actual sparkle to it, and this one's a highlight. And I'm going to use this one kind of like I would an hourglass powder and just buff all over. But again, you will see a full-on review and everything on this and comparisons to the medium one whenever I get everything in. For those of you that want to see the other two swatched, I'll go ahead and do that for you. So I'm going to swatch this one and this one. There they are. This one does have like glitter particles in it, but it's really bright. And then this is the other one. Again, just stay tuned. I will be showing this off some more. Now let me go ahead and finish off my lips. I'm going to go in with one of my little nubs from my collaboration with Kristen Audette. This is Kitten Liner. Beauty lipstick on top. This is the finished look. I really love the way that this turned out. I think it's so pretty. The eyeshadow palette, yes. This is a cool tone neutrals. Amazing, just absolutely beautiful. So appropriate for Valentine's Day or really any day of the week. You can bump this up or wear it a lot more natural. I love this. I think everything performed really well. And again, I really like the look that I got out of it. And um, this is definitely one of my new go to liners. I love this shade. This is the Pillow Talk Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me swatch it on my hand. It is this brown with red in there that just it's beautiful and I think it works with this eye so well these tones it's just gorgeous the blush really happy with this formula I haven't tried all of the colors out yet but this is stunning if you're wanting something that is just easy you can put your fingers or your <laughs> brush into I'm just I'm not doing the fingers you could even use a sponge if you wanted to but because it's not overly creamy or overly wet it's just really easy to use and I love the look that it gives on this skin you guys will slowly but surely see most of these on my face the La Mercier highlight this is just gorgeous I think that is beautiful and then I'm gonna have to dive into this just a little bit more because I Obviously, only, the only thing I used today was the center shade. 
But just looking at this, this gives me such high hopes. This is really pretty. It's just a really nice sheer powder that you can buff all over. It's gorgeous. And then these two, yeah, I'm going to be testing those out. But I'm really impressed. This is a magnetic palette right here. You see that? I like the size of it. It's just really, really nice. And then... BK Beauty brushes. Lisa J sent these over to me. And by the way, the Viseart palette was also sent to me, <laughs> but I also bought it. So there's that. I got an NPR and I have another one that I purchased because I knew that I had to have that palette. These were sent to me from Lisa J. Lisa, I love you. And I think that you do such a phenomenal job with your company, with the motto, with everything. If you guys have not checked out her, her channel, or her brushes, the videos on her brushes, I'm going to link all that down below. What she does with her company is just absolutely amazing. And these are synthetic brushes. I feel like I'm very critical of synthetic brushes and hers are my favorite. Bar none, everything I have tried thus far, BK Beauty brushes are my favorite synthetic line that I have ever used. I think that she makes really beautiful brushes and she really thinks about what she's wanting them to be used for. Like I love this pencil brush because it's a little bit bigger than what all of my other ones are. So I can just buff right along the lower lash line and smoke it out really quickly. This will be really great for the nose. The 107 for blush, beautiful. Normally, oh, I just dropped one, dang it. <laughs> Normally this size brush does not work for me for highlight, but I think because it's synthetic and the stiffness of it is just perfect, and it's the 108. This worked really well for applying my highlight. This is great. If you are looking for an option to do your nose, like the contour, I use my Tom Ford brush for that. This will do that. It gets into the crease really well. You can apply stuff to the lid, everything. And then this tiny, tiny little baby angled brush, the 208. Great additions to her line. Again, I'm gonna leave her information down below so you guys can check her out and check the brushes out and all of that. Let me see, is there anything else? The fly pencil that I put in my waterline up top from Fenty Beauty, I used that in my last Get Ready With Me. Still enjoying it. Still enjoying the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. Just absolutely love it. And then when it comes to my collaboration, remember, you're getting a free signed sticker from me. I printed all these off myself. The struggle bus was a little real, real, because <laughs> I kept misaligning it, and then I was signing them, and you know, I, you know, when you're signing stuff, you want to be like real particular, and I changed the color like six different times, and yeah, it was a whole ordeal, but I did these myself for you guys, so just remember, while supplies last, any purchase from my collection, you will get a free signed sticker with your purchase. Again, just while supplies last. I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.